Which one is the most orange? Oh, what the world? That's pretty frustrating, right? But you know what's not frustrating? Well, our new video is coming out here on YouTube. Now, here's a mini sample before we get today's lecture started. Fibrillation fireworks is the best way to remember V-Fib, the most deadly rhythm of all time. One of only two rhythms that you actually defibrillate or shock. Now, the other one is pulseless v tack So, what is V-Fib? Well, ventricular fibrillation is a chaotic pattern of electrical activity in the ventricles in which electrical impulses arise from many different foci. All right, guys, before we get started, don't forget to do two things. First of all, subscribe right here so you can see all of our new videos coming out here on YouTube first before they get locked in our video vault at simplenursing.com. And also click right up there to your free demo to our new quiz bank, as well as 1,200 videos not here on YouTube. All right, guys, let's get our oldies webcam video started right here. All right, guys, so for IM injections, um, you give intramuscular injections, really in four sites. You can give it in the deltoid, as well as the dorsal gluteal, which is the bottom, the butt, the dorsal ventral, which is really just like the hip right here, and also the vastus lateralis, which is just your thigh. So usually um, your book will say that no more than one to two mLs in the shoulder, and anywhere in the leg, books say nothing more than 2.5 mLs, but um, you, know, you can probably put in a 4 mL in someone's leg. Uh, it really just depends on the size of your patient. So guys, let's see here. I can show you how to draw up real quick a, um, what is it, medication out of a saline vial here. Thanks for the All right. So let's do it. So we have, say the doctor orders, um, let's say one milligram in Ativan, okay? So, um, or so let's say Geodon, or let's say um, 2.5 milligrams of uh, Rosethin, and it's in our vial here. So we look at the concentration of the vial. Let's say we have 2.5 milligrams in 5 mLs. How much would you draw up? How would you do your medication calculation in your brain? Well, we know that in 5 mLs, we have, um, you know, let's say uh, we have 5 mLs, we have 5 milligrams of rosetin. We only want 2.5, right? So we're going to draw up 2.5 here in our syringe of air, push it in our vial, boom, push the air in, bring our blunt end syringe down, and bring it back, okay? Now, some nursing instructors will get on your A if you touch the inside of the syringe here, because they're saying it's not sterile, so just use the end of the plunger, okay? So you're pulling up point, sorry, two, two and a half mLs, okay? And check your vial here. So you pull that up. Now you label your freaking drug, okay? Get the air out, label your drug, make sure that if you drop this on the floor, they know what drug it is, okay? So you take off your blunt syringe, and you attach your appropriate um, insertion catheter with it, okay? So, if you're giving it in the arm or the leg, you're probably going to get a 23 gauge syringe here. That's usually the most common. It's an inch to an inch and a half, just depending on the person's size. If you're going to do it in the butt, I do an inch and a half. Uh, if you're going to give uh, heparin or if you're going to give, uh, let's say, insulin, 25, um, 25 inch syringe is good, uh, but usually they have insulin syringes like this that measure the units of insulin, okay? And insulin is given subcutaneously, not intramuscularly. So let's say it's a pretty viscous, very thick uh, rosepin we're going to give. 
We're gonna do a 21 gauge. That is a large bore uh, needle, okay? So you're gonna draw it up. Make sure that the bubbles come out the top here. That was a lot. I kind of wasted a little bit of mine. But you want to make sure you bead your drug here, if you can see that on the end. You're beading your drug, okay? So you make your landmark. You um, swab with your alcohol prep from in to out. If you use a Z-Track method, you're putting the Z-Track, pulling the skin taut, holding this like a dart, uh, like a, uh, like a dart okay? Aiming. Sticking it in like a dart, grabbing right here, pulling the plunger back, that's called aspirate, because we want to make sure we're not in a blood vessel, and we push it in, okay? Push it all the way through. And you're pushing that into your patient. Now, I don't want to get it all over the ground, but I'm pushing this into my patient, okay? So, it's just mechanics, guys. It's really mechanics. I say grab an orange, practice that guys, practice with an orange, I used to do it all the time, at least 10 times before clinicals. Grab an orange, Z-Track method, dart, boom, flow, and push. Do it again, 10 times, dart method, Z-Track, tot, punk, pull, and push. Do it again, dart method, Z-Track, push, pull, because you do not want to get in a clinical like this and the patient's looking at you and your instructor's looking at you and you're pulling and you push and then you just push, right? No, you want to be smooth. Boom, 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 grab, pull, push. So if you do it 10 times before uh, you actually do the dang thing, then you're going to be very, very smooth as you're in uh, clinical rotations. Now, they say that your dexterity yeah, on your best practice day will only be about 60% during the live demo. So they tell cops a lot that you're only going to shoot 60% accurate on your best day in training because of all your nerves and all of your adrenaline rushing. So 60% of your best day, you guys want to make sure you're good at it, like really good. And just go out there and it'll be just muscle memory, boom, 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 aspirate, bam and you're done. So that's really IM injections in a nutshell. All right, guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at simplenursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And last but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.